When I first purchased The Sims 4 back in 2014, I was really disappointed that the stories were not a continuation from the previous games. In fact, we were now on an alternate timeline, which I really disliked. Over the past few months, I've been working on the official Pleasant Sims save file for The Sims 4. I've made several fixed save files before, but this one is where my heart truly is. Now we are 25 years after the events that happened in The Sims 2, with all the same families continuing on, and a lot has happened and changed in that 25 years. There are 12 new households and 34 Sims for you to play. The family lines should be very easy to follow. These are all familiar families like the Dreamers, the Pleasants, the Goss, and the Brokes. So let's jump into the game and I'll introduce you to all the new stories and all of the new Sims. Here we are in Willow Creek. Yes, the Pleasant View Sims live in Willow Creek, but there's a reason for that. After a terrible flood left the coastal town of Pleasant View completely underwater, the residents had to find a new home. The bayous and rolling plantation land of Willow Creek was a perfect place to start over. With financial help from Sim City, the families rebuilt. Now they're thriving 25 years later, but a new environment didn't erase the drama between the households. Will the Sims of Willow Creek go back to their old ways or change for the better? So I had to come up with a reason why the Pleasant View Sims would be living in Willow Creek, since obviously I have no way to build the actual Pleasant View in The Sims 4 because we can't create our own worlds and that's a complaint for another day. <laughs> I decided to make a story that would explain everyone moving from Pleasant View to Willow Creek and making this their new home. This save file is completely base game compatible. I only used the base game when I was creating it. All of the families live, of course, in Willow Creek because that's the story. Now you do have Oasis Springs, but it is completely empty. Now I have ideas for this for an updated save in the future, but feel free to move some of the families over here to Oasis Springs if you don't like them all living in Willow Creek. Every single house in Willow Creek is filled with families except for Cypress Terrace and then the three empty lots. Let's start with Foundry Cove. First of all, we have the Broke family. This is Dustin Broke, his wife Angela Broke, who used to be Angela Pleasant, and their two children, Tabitha and Vincent. Dustin Broke married his first love, Angela Pleasant, and they have two beautiful children together. But will his criminal ways destroy the family, and can Angela ever make amends with her twin sister, Lilith? Dustin and Angela are now adults? They live here in the Streamlit single lot, which has been completely remodeled for them. I did use the Maxis builds for this world, but all of the houses have been completely remodeled to suit the families who live there now. Angela is a foodie who is outgoing, neat, and gregarious. Her aspiration is friend of the world. She works as a caterer in the culinary career. And all of the family trees are intact in this save file. We can see Daniel, Mary Sue, Angela, and Lilith. Uh, Daniel and Mary Sue also have another child, and we'll get to that in a moment. Dustin is a lazy, hot-headed slob with business savvy. His lifetime want is to become fabulously wealthy, and he currently works in the criminal career as a felonious monk. All of the families here in Willow Creek have relationships with each other, some good and some bad. Dustin here is still enemies with Daniel Pleasant after all this time, although he gets along okay with Mary Sue, and of course, he knows many of the other Sims in town. Tabitha Bro is the couple's oldest daughter. She is a romance sim. Her traits are music lover, romantic, and alluring. And her aspiration is soulmate. She currently has two skill in both guitar and piano and is very interested in learning more about music. Dustin and Angela's youngest child is a little boy named Vincent. He has a heart of gold and he is a social butterfly. Moving over to our next household, these are the Calientes. I'm sure you recognize Nina, but this is her daughter, Gia. Nina Caliente raised Gia alone, keeping the secret of her daughter's paternity under lock and key. Now that Gia is growing up, will she find out that Uncle Don is more than just a family friend? And will she forgive her mother for withholding the truth? So here is Nina Caliente. Now, obviously she has been out exercising. Um, she is active, romantic, non-committal, and alluring. She is a serial romantic, of course. And she currently works as a dance team captain in the athletic career. She's ready to be promoted to the next level based on her skills of charisma and fitness. 
She is romantically involved with Don Lothario, who is also the father of her child, although no one knows that outside of she and Don. She's been waiting until Gia was old enough to tell her the truth about her father and why they had to keep it a secret because Don was currently married to Cassandra at the time that Nina gave birth to Gia. And Don basically paid her off to keep quiet, and Nina just didn't want the drama anyway, so she raised Gia by herself, never telling anybody who her real father is. Although anybody who looks at Gia could probably figure it out because she looks a lot like her dad. Nina is enemies with Cassandra because Cassandra caught Don cheating with Nina, and that's why Cassandra and Don got divorced, but we'll talk about that more in a moment. Nina is also an adult, and she is 15 days away from becoming an elder. Her beautiful daughter Gia is a young adult now, 14 days away way from becoming an adult. She is active, ambitious, and outgoing with business savvy. She works as an intern in the astronaut career, and she is romantically involved with Ivan Pleasant, the young adult son of Mary Sue and Daniel. Nina and Gia live here in the Crick Cabana house, which I have remodeled for them made it into a two bathroom, two bedroom, small little house that they shared together. Next up in Foundry Cove is the Broke family number two. This is little Bo Broke all grown up, his wife Deborah Broke, and their son Edward. Deborah is the adopted daughter of Herb and Coral Oldie, making her the adopted sister of Mary Sue Pleasant. Now Herb and Coral Oldie passed away long before the families moved here to Willow Creek, so they're not really part of our story here, but Deborah still does keep in touch with her adopted sister Mary Sue. Bo's family tries hard to support his musical career, but how long can they tolerate his endless practicing? Deborah is a stay-at-home mom. They don't have much money, but they love each each other and that's all that matters. The Broke family live here in Daisy Hovel, which I have completely remodeled and I've actually enlarged the house because it was just too small how it was before. I made it into a two bedroom, two bath. Bo has his guitar that he has been practicing. He is a musical sim. So his aspiration is musical genius. He works as a C-lister in the musical career. He is working his way up and trying his best to become a rock star. He only has level two in guitar. I didn't say he was a fast learner. He is a music lover, outgoing, creative muser. He has six days until he becomes an adult. And here is the family tree for the Broke family. Deborah is a family sim and her aspiration is successful lineage. She loves the outdoors. She's neat, family oriented, and domestic. She's a little bit older than Bo and she'll become an adult in just four days. Many of the sims in this save file will age up within their first week because that's just how the ages landed. I would recommend turning aging off if you're going to play this or turning it on only for the playable household if you're playing on normal lifespan and you don't want to miss any birthdays. If you play on a long lifespan, you'll have more time. Deborah does not have a career. She stays home and takes care of little Edward. She enjoys cooking and gardening, and in fact, she has some garden plots outside. Little Edward looks a lot like his mom. He is a rambunctious scamp, and he has his very own, uh, monkey bars outside in the backyard. He loves the outdoors just like his mom Deborah. Our final family in Foundry Cove is the Burb family. This is John Burb, Jennifer Burb, and their twin teenage daughters Odessa and Quinn. John and Jennifer Burb have remained faithful to each other for the last 25 years, raising four children. Soon their youngest daughters, twins Odessa and Quinn, will be young adults and out on their own. Will empty nest syndrome spur a change in their lives and their marriage? The Burb family live here in Garden Essence, although it has been completely remodeled uh, to suit this family. John Burb is a freelance botanist. He is a nature sim. He loves the outdoors. He's a goofball, family oriented, and a collector. He has only three days until he becomes an elder. He currently does not have a job. He stayed home most of his life and helped care for the children, and he also really loves to garden and earn money for the family that way. Jennifer Burb, on the other hand, has been much more ambitious in her life, and her aspiration is fabulously wealthy. She is a music lover out going ambitious with business savvy. She has just seven days left until she becomes an elder. She's currently employed in the style influencer career and makes 77 simoleons an hour as a culture columnist. She and John have had a wonderful marriage throughout the years, unlike many of the other Sims in Pleasant View or Willow Creek. This is Odessa Burb, one of the twins. She and her sister are very opposite, although they are identical twins. Odessa is a nerd brain. She is a genius, neat, and a quick learner. She's gonna be becoming a young adult in just one day. And here is the family tree for the Burb family. They have four children and we will meet the other soon other two soon. I'm sure you're familiar with Lucy. Odessa has not had a boyfriend yet. She prefers to spend most of her time studying and reading and just being a nerd. 
Quinn is also a knowledge sim, but her aspiration is renaissance sim. Her traits are active and goofball. She is currently in a relationship with Primo Lothario, the son of Cassandra and Dawn. Now we're done with Foundry Cove, which is sort of the poorer neighborhood of Willow Creek, and we will move on to Courtyard Lane. The first family we have here is the Pleasant Dreamer family. This is Lilith Pleasant, her partner Dirk Dreamer, and their daughter Helen. Dirk Dreamer and Lilith Pleasant live together with their daughter Helen, but Lilith isn't defined by marriage and motherhood. She has her music to think about after all. Dirk is ambitious but always trying something new. How will her parents' unconventional lifestyle affect Helen as she grows up? The Pleasant Dreamer family live here in Rendell Rose, which is, I have completely remodeled this house. I probably did more work to this than any other house because I really wanted it to suit them. Now Lilith and Dirk lived together but they never got married. They decided that marriage just wasn't for them. They wanted to be together but they still wanted to be their own individual people and they wanted to raise their daughter together as well. Dirk and Lilith are now adults. Dirk is about 18 days away from becoming an elder. He is a genius bookworm ambitious quick learner who also wants to be a renaissance sim. Here is the family tree for the dreamer pleasant family. We click on Lilith, it changes a little bit there. Dirk works as a development captain in the tech guru career. He makes 78 simoleons an hour. He and Lilith have done very well for themselves. So Lilith has about 19 days until she becomes an elder. She is a creative, hot-headed loner, and she's also a muser. Her lifetime aspiration is musical genius. She and her twin sister Angela do not get along at all. Um, they're acquaintances, they're not really enemies, but they don't like each other. It's up to you if you want to repair their relationship or have them become enemies. Lilith also dislikes Kaylin Langerak for being a homewrecker, and she's acquaintances or friends with most of the other Sims in town. She gets along well with both her mother and her father at this point. The so little Helen Dreamer has about five days until she becomes a teenager. She is a bookworm and a social butterfly. Next up, we have the Goth Lothario family. This is Cassandra Goth, who used to be Cassandra Lothario, and her two daughters, Eva and Rosa. Cassandra's struggling with the loss of her marriage and trying to make it on her own with two daughters. Free spirit Eva wants to make a living with her art, but on her own terms, while Rosa wants to be as strong as her dad. Can Cassandra handle the stress while trying to find her own place in the world? So when you start playing this family, Cassandra Goth is very sad from being divorced. She is recently divorced from Don Lothario. She is a family sim and her lifetime aspiration is to have a big happy family. She works as a project manager in the tech guru career for 73 simoleons an hour. She has a good relationship with her children. Um, she hates Nina because she caught Don and Nina cheating. And of course she is just absolutely furious with Don right now. He was the love of her life and he broke her heart. Cassandra is neat, goofball, family oriented, and domestic. She has about six days until she becomes an elder. Here is the family tree for the goths. So we'll get more into some of these other sims you see here very soon. Eva Lothario is Dawn and Cassandra's oldest child. She is a serial romantic like her father Dawn, but she's also very artistic. She's romantic, art lover, goofball, and alluring. She has about 14 days until she becomes an adult. She is a young adult right now. I know it's hard to tell in The Sims 4 if they're teens or young adults. She also has a good relationship with all of her family members and she is romantically involved with Bobby Broke. Rosa Lothario looks very disgusted right here, <laughs> and it's very dark inside this house. She is the baby of the Lothario children. They have three kids. Primo lives with his dad, but Rosa and Eva chose to continue living with their mom, Cassandra. So Rosa has about 12 days until she becomes a young adult. She's a teenager now. She is a slob. She's outgoing and has a high metabolism. She has a personality like her father's, only she's not a serial romantic. In fact, her lifetime aspiration is to become a bodybuilder. She doesn't have any romantic relationships right now because she just became a teenager. So that's up to you which way you want to go with that. After the divorce, Cassandra took the money she got from the divorce settlement and purchased this house for her and the girls. You might recognize this house as it used to be the pancakes house in the original Willow Creek, but I have completely remodeled it for the family and added a third bedroom. I almost forgot to mention Eva works as a freelance artist. She is a very talented artist with a level four painting skill. Next up, we have the Lothario household. This is, of course, Don Lothario and his son Primo. Don left the medical field to follow his dreams of becoming a personal trainer. After Cassandra divorced him for cheating with Nina Caliente, he moved out and took his only son Primo Lothario with him. 
Will Primo follow in his father's footsteps or become a better man? So Don and Primo live here in Riverside Roost, which is actually right next door to Cassandra and the girl. Even though Cassandra pretty much hates Don right now, she didn't want to tear her children away from their father, so they moved close by so that Don could still see all the children. And Cassandra also didn't want to go too far away from her only son, Primo. The house has been completely remodeled once again for the family, so Primo's bedroom is downstairs and then Don has his little love shack upstairs. Now, because the Sims 4 base game does not have a medical career, in my base game save, Don is working in the athletic career. He is a romance sim. Of course, he is a serial romantic. He is active, non-committal, and a slob. He has about four days until he becomes an elder, so he's really getting up there in age. Here is the family tree for Don. <laughs> Don and his four children, and here is the family tree for Primo. Don, of course, is romantically involved with Nina, and he has a good relationship with all of his children. He is a good father. He also has had a romantic fling with Kaylin Langerak, although Kaylin is now married to Daniel Pleasant. So there's some potential for drama there. He and Cassandra are not getting along right now. Don works as a personal trader, making 47 simoleons an hour. Primo Lothario is the very handsome son of Don and Cassandra, as I said before. His aspiration is to become fabulously wealthy. He is a materialistic slob with business savvy, and he has about three days until he becomes a young adult. He is a teenager right now. Primo is romantically involved with Quinn Burb, and he has a good relationship with all of his family members. Now we have the Dreamer family. So this is Brandy Dreamer, who used to be Brandy Broke. She married Darren Dreamer. They had a child together named David. And Bobby Broke also lives here with his mom and his half-brother. Bobby was the unborn baby in The Sims 2. The late Darren Dreamer became a famous artist and made a lot of money for his family before he passed away. Brandy used the money wisely to purchase a home and care for her sons, Bobby and David. Can Brandy accept that her boys are growing up and will soon be on their own? Brandy and the boys live here in Brook Bungalow, which I have redecorated for the family. Brandy and David are still very upset about the death of Darren Dreamer. He just recently passed away after the family moved to Willow Creek. And in fact, he is buried outside underneath the willow tree because I thought that was fitting. So you will be dealing with some sadness when you first start playing this family. Brandy, of course, is a family sim who wants to have a successful lineage. She is a good family-oriented slob, and she is an elder she has lived for 61 days. This is David Dreamer, the son of Darren and Brandy. He is a serial romantic, another romance sim in town. His traits are music lover, romantic, and alluring. He has about four days until he becomes a young adult. He's a teenager right now. And he's having a very difficult time dealing with the loss of his father, who he was very close to. In the relationship panel, you can see he was even much closer to Darren than he is to his mom, Brandy, although he and Brandy do have a good relationship. He also has a good relationship with his half-brother, Bobby, and he is friends with many of the other teenagers in town. He doesn't have any romantic relationships right now, but as a serial romantic, I'm sure he'll find someone soon. Here is the family tree for David Dreamer, and here we have the very good-looking Bobby Broke. This is unborn baby broke from The Sims 2, all grown up. He is a young adult and also a serial romantic. Yes, Brandy has two romance boys living under her roof right now. He works in the artist career as a hungry artist, making 26 simoleons an hour. He is romantic, creative, self-assured, and alluring, and he has about 15 days until he becomes an adult. He is romantically involved with Eva Lothario who lives just across the street. So that was Courtyard Lane, and now we're moving on to the wealthier neighborhood in town, Pendula View. We'll start with the Goth family. This is Alexander, his wife Lucy, who used to be Lucy Burb, and their son Casper. With a Goth family fortune in his hands, will Alexander be a good steward? He married his high school sweetheart Lucy Burb, and they soon had a child of their own. Now Alex is determined to make his late father proud, while Lucy proves she can have it all, a big happy family and a career as a writer. So of course the Goth family has to live in Ophelia Villa. Over on the side of the house are the graves of Bella and Mortimer. You can move these wherever you like. I kept them with the house for now. There's not really much room on this lot for a family cemetery, but I just thought it was fitting to leave them there for now and you can do what you want with them. So here is little Alexander Goth all grown up. 
His lifetime want is to be a mansion baron, which he is very close to achieving. He works as an assistant manager in the business career level four. He has an amazing relationship with his wife, Lucy, and a good relationship with his son, Casper. He also has a half-brother, Fabian, and we will get to him soon. He is a goofball, geek, and ambitious. He has about four days until he becomes an adult. He is currently a young adult. Here is the family tree for the goth family. Lucy is a family sim who wants to have a big, happy family. She is a freelance article writer making 38 simoleons an hour at level three of the writer career. Her traits are bookworm, goofball, family-oriented, and domestic. She has about five days until she becomes an adult. They don't have any drama going on like some of the other families. Next up, we have the goth family number two. This is Dina Goth, Fabian Goth, and Kevin Burb. After Mortimer Goth passed away, his widow Dina used the life insurance payout to purchase a mansion of her own, but she soon found it too empty and invited her son and his husband to move in. Can Fabian forge his own path without his mother's interference? And is Kevin's new job their ticket out? So Fabian Goth is the son of Dina and Mortimer Goth. Dina and Mortimer got married towards the end of Mortimer's life. And of course, Dina inherited a lot of money from that. And she managed to produce a child from that marriage. Once Fabian grew up, he fell in love with Kevin Burb, who was the second child of John and Jennifer Burb. The two of them are now married and living with Fabian's mom in the second Goth mansion. So Dina Goth is aging. She is getting very close to becoming an elder, but that doesn't stop her from dressing the same way she always has. She has six days until she becomes an elder. She is lazy, materialistic, and a goofball. Her lifetime want is to become fabulously wealthy, of course, <laughs> but she hasn't earned a single cent of her own. She is unemployed. She does have some skill in charisma and comedy. She loved Mortimer Goth very much, but he has since passed away. She gets along well with her sister Nina and with Fabian. She doesn't know Kevin very well because he just recently moved in with them, but she's very open-minded about her son's relationship and has welcomed him in with open arms. Here is Fabian Gott, son of Dina and Mortimer. Fabian is a party animal. He's a popularity sim. His traits are loves the outdoors, cheerful, self-assured, and gregarious. And he has about 13 days until he becomes an adult. He is currently a young adult. So this is Kevin Burb's fa this is Kevin Burb, Fabian's husband. Kevin is also a popularity sim who wants to be friend of the world. His traits are active, outgoing, and loves the outdoors, and he has about 15 days until he becomes an adult. Kevin has a good relationship with his mom and sisters, but not so much with his dad. John is a very traditional kind of guy, and he didn't initially accept Kevin's relationship with Fabian. They have been working on things over the years and have slowly started to build their relationship up again, but they're not friends yet. With the help of Jennifer and the girls, John has definitely come around and started to accept Kevin for who he is. Kevin is the only one in this house to have a job. Both Fabian and Dina are unemployed and Kevin just works as a mailroom technician for 16 simoleons an hour, level one in the business career. Kevin is trying to earn enough money so that he and Fabian can move out. Fabian loves to party and doesn't really take a life very seriously, unlike Kevin. Kevin wants to get them out of his mom of his mother-in-law's house and into a place of their own. The last family we have in Pendula View is the Pleasant family. This is Mary Sue and and Ivan. Mary Sue worked her way up the career ladder to become vice president, but at what cost? Her marriage to Daniel crumbled when she caught him cheating with the maid. She raised her son Ivan to a young man on her own. Can she ever forgive her ex-husband and can Ivan find peace with his father too? Mary Sue Pleasant is an elder. She, okay, she has not lived for 2,520 days, okay? <laughs> Whenever I was first creating this neighborhood, I had my MC command setter age settings set to what I use them for in my personal game and somehow it carried over. So that is not correct, but you can see she just has a little bit of time left in her life before she is going to pass away. She's around like 70 years old. She is a perfectionist, materialistic, ambitious sim with business savvy. Her lifetime want is to become fabulously wealthy. She works as vice president in the business career. That is level seven. She has really worked her way up. Now in the base game, there is no political career. So I could not put her in the political career. So I had to put her into business. 
later on, I'm going to be making a save file that works with City Living where I will put her in the political career, but that's coming later. She has a really strong relationship with her son, Ivan. She also has a good relationship with both of her daughters. She absolutely despises Caitlin Langerak, obviously, because she caught her husband cheating with her. And she despises Daniel for cheating on her and destroying their family. She is best friends with Cassandra Goth. They have remained friends over all these years. Ivan Pleasant is the only son of Mary Sue and Daniel Pleasant. They had Ivan very late in their lives after Mary Sue had caught Daniel cheating for the first time, but not before she caught him cheating for the second time and divorced him. Ivan is a young adult with about 14 days until he becomes an adult. Here's the family tree for Ivan, and here is the family tree for Mary Sue. Mary Sue has three grandchildren. Uh, Vincent, Tabitha, and Helen. Ivan is neat, he's a perfectionist, and he's hot-headed. He also wants to be fabulously wealthy. He took after his mom very much in both looks and personality. Ivan also works in the business career as a mailroom technician level one. Ivan is very upset with his father, Daniel, uh, for walking out on them, leaving them, and going to live with a younger woman. And he, I, he wasn't really around in Ivan's life that much since he left when Ivan was still a toddler. So Ivan has some definite unresolved issues with his father, and um, he is very, very close to his mother. He is quite a mama's boy. He is friends with many of the other Sims in his generation, and he is romantically involved with Gia Caliente. They have been sweethearts since they were teenagers. Now we just have a one more family left, and that is the second Pleasant family, Daniel and Kaylin. Daniel left his ex-wife Mary Sue for a younger woman, his maid Kaylin Langerak. Now that they're married, will Daniel's eye continue to wonder or will he remain faithful this time? And can Kaylin have the baby she's always dreamed of before it's too late? Daniel and Kaylin live here in Oakenstead, which is one of the biggest, most expensive homes in Willow Creek. Daniel is quite wealthy because he is a Hall of Famer in the athletic career level 10 professional athletes. They have a huge house and Kaylin really wants to fill it with children, but she's running out of time because Daniel is an elder and he doesn't have that much time left in his life. Kaylin is an adult, soon to be an elder in about 14 days. She was young and naive whenever she met Daniel. He wooed her, talked her into marrying him after they got busted by Mary Sue, and all she wants in the world is a family. She has also been romantically involved with Dawn in the past. She is enemies with Mary Sue. Lilith and Ivan both dislike her. Um, Angela is okay with her because Angela is much more accepting of her father than the other children are. Kaylin, of course, is a family sim who wants to have a successful lineage. She does not have a career. She left her career as a maid whenever she got married to Daniel, and she really doesn't have to work now unless she just absolutely wants to. They have plenty of cash and a huge mansion to live in. And her traits are good, neat, family-oriented, and domestic. We don't know much about Kaylin's family before she came to Pleasant View, so we don't really have any ancestors for her, but she's married to Daniel and has three stepchildren. Daniel, he is up here in his exercise workout room right now. He, of course, is a serial romantic. He has maxed out the fitness skills, so he is super in shape. His traits are active, romantic, non-committal, and alluring. He is still enemies with Dustin Broke. He does not like that Dustin ended up marrying his baby girl, Angela. He has a relationship with Lilith, but it's not as strong as his relationship with Angela. Here is the family tree for Daniel. So he, his sister is Jennifer Burb, if you didn't know that. And then here are his children and his three grandchildren. So these were all the families and the backstories in my Pleasant Sims Sims 4 save file, which is Sims 2 25 years later. So if you have any comments, suggestions, leave a comment down below and let me know. I would love to hear from you. And you can find a link, of course, to download this save file and to find all of the upcoming updates down below in the description box. My name is Cindy and I will see you with a new video very soon. Thank you so much for watching.